today I'm going to fry up some plantains. Now a plantain resembles a banana. It is much bigger and the skin is actually much tougher than your average banana. To choose the right plantains for frying, you want to pick the ones that are yellow and have black spots on them. The more black spots you have on your plantain, the sweeter that plantain is actually is. Now, don't use the green ones for frying. Those are used for soups and stews. They are not ripe enough for fried plantains and they are not sweet at all if they're still green. Also, a lot of people like to deep fry their plantains. I like to cook mine in a way that is not so much greasy. So I like to use half to one tablespoon of oil per plantain to slightly fry it on a nonstick pan. Now what I'm going to do is peel the skin off and slice the plantain and get it ready for frying. First thing is turn on our stove to low heat and just let it get warmed up as I peel this plantain's skin off. Now what you need to do is just cut off the opposite ends of a plantain like so and just slice in the middle just the skin part and it can be easily peeled off. So now that we've peeled it off, we'll just go ahead and now if you deep fry it, you can really slice it in any size you want. But since we are frying it in light oil, we want it to be the same size as much as possible so we don't burn it. So I'm just slicing it like that. Plantain is one of my favorite snacks, especially when I have one of those late night cravings. It does feed that cravings. Now that it's warmed up, let's go ahead and put the oil in. So just move the oil around to evenly distribute the oil on your pan. Next is just to put the plantains on the pan. So now that it's there, let's go ahead and cover it. This plantain had been simmering for 5 minutes. Let's go ahead and take a look and see if it's ready to be turned. And it is. You see that it's turning yellow, dark yellow, and golden color. That means it's ready to be flipped. This is very simple and does not require a lot of ingredients and it's an awesome late night snack. Now that you've flipped it, just try to move the pan around to evenly distribute any leftover oils. Now we'll just go ahead and cover it back up and let it simmer again for another 5 minutes. I know it's very tempting to raise up the temperature because you want it to cook fast but trust me, you don't want to do that. You will burn the plantains. They are very sensitive to heat. So keep it between low and medium. So I believe our plantain is done. So let's go ahead and turn off the stove and check it out. Look at that sizzling. It is ready. Oh my gosh, it looks so good and it smells really good. I am just flipping it so I can get more heat on the other side. Since this one turned into golden color and any leftover heat will turn the other side golden without burning your plantains. So you can just let it sit there until you're ready to serve. You can eat your plantain as is. Just go ahead and remove it and yes it is very hot. So. Be careful. You can just go ahead and remove some and just eat it like that. So that is ready to be eaten. Now if you like extra indulgence, you can go ahead and get some plantains. And if you really have that big craving for something sweet, just go ahead and grab a fudge chocolate and just drizzle it on your plantain. And yes, it is too sweet, but that is an awesome looking dessert. So these are two different ways you can eat up your plantains. Plain or drizzle with indulgence. Hot fudge to be exact. Hopefully you've enjoyed my very first cooking video. Um, please leave a comment and let me know. Would love to hear from you guys. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye.